I'm Pierce Alexander Lilholt. I'm out here on Floaty Boat. That's right. And I just came to the last stage of this project, which if you saw the previous video, you'll know that what was happening here was my speaker back here was getting melted, as you can see, melted by the exhaust from the generator I was putting there. You can also see a little bit of of like a discoloration here, a little bit of brown from, uh, I guess, that getting burnt. So I came out with some wood and I made this little cover here. So this will just go right over that. Now, seeing as though, so you can see there's like a little thing that just sits there. Um, since wood is flammable, I got a sticker to go on it that's supposed to put you guys in the holder here. There we go. It's supposed to, you know, stop thousands of degrees of heat. I think they wrap mufflers in this stuff. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap that speaker cover in there. When I was making it, I went down, I uh, got all my stainless steel out. I usually dump it in a metal bowl like this so I can kind of dig through it and see what I need. Um, I usually keep it in a, one of these ready wares bags. These are awesome. These are waxed canvas. I'll put a link in the description to these. And another bag full of screws, which actually this one came in handy. And then I just drilled it all together with the old Dewalt. And and I cut it with this little Denko Seca made in Japan. This thing really cuts like butter. So I would recommend this. I'll see if I can find a link to this and put it in the description. If you're building anything, it's a nice, uh, handy little saw to keep out on a boat. And if you're wondering how good it worked, just check out the last video. It was it was making quick work of this. Look at this sunset. Wow. And that's why we're out here. <laughs> I did stop it to uh, do the last little bit and um, made sure you weren't watching me just building a speaker cover the whole time without any real sensation. But you'll see, I made something. I wanted this to be small enough where I could just toss it into the lazarette here. And I didn't want something that um, I had to permanently um, attached to the boat. I want something, I mean, I'd say all in all, this might have taken 10 minutes to make. And what I want to make sure I do is I, I want to make sure I wrap this over the top here, then down. Might even be able to go around. Yeah, and then around. So this has maximum heat protection on this thing. So there's a backing on this. It's like a big sticker. I'm kind of wondering if I should go around the top side. Scissors here to cut away the excess. Let's see how sticky this is. It's got like a little bit of like hair coming out or something. I'm not sure what these fibers are. I'm guessing maybe fiberglass, something with the Kevlar, who knows? I didn't really question how the tech worked. I just said, oh, it does look like some type of fiberglass or some fiber material in there. Could be Kevlar, fiberglass. I have no idea. Stuck that to the top, seems very sticky. Okay, I'm gonna push that away. 
try to trim this off before I fold it in. try to cut this excess off and put it right along the back here. Let's see if I can't remove this without or maybe on the sides. It definitely feels like some type of fiber. so it doesn't stick to itself. It's very sticky. Yeah, why waste this 10,000 million degree NASA material? <laughs> Actually, I think what they use this for is to wrap mufflers with. I could be wrong, but that's what it seemed like in a lot of reviews. So sure what the mufflers on the cars or campers were melting but it's got a nice sound when that's cut, cut through fiber sides. Let's do we go. Maybe go down the sides here. I don't know. So far this is looking pretty space age. strip left. Let's see. Right on this side. This side where the speaker's usually going to be. I'd say that, let's see if you can see that. That's pretty awesome. Now, how well this will hold up in a marine environment, we'll see. I'm hoping this, you know, some adhesives take a little while to fully adhere. So I'm gonna press on this a little more. Hopefully this really Attaches, but it seems pretty attached. I don't see it going anywhere. And it's better than just hanging the, the thing over there because now I can just put this there, run the generator, and that blocks that speaker. So if you have a generator and you didn't feel like making a big mount to hang off the back of your boat, that's the way to go. Wow, look at the sunset.
Yeah, the color replication is not how... This is way better than that. <laughs> this is really good. So, I'm going to turn the tunes back on. I'm going to... I don't even need to run the air conditioner because it's really nice. So I'm not running the generator right now. But when I do run the generator, I'll uh, let you know if anything goes wrong. I can't imagine it will. So, uh, if the speaker keeps melting, then too bad for the speaker. Because <laughs> that's where the generator is going. I don't even have anywhere else to really mount it off of besides maybe the bow but that's typically right above the bedroom so I don't want a 60 decibel generator blast and not that that's that loud but at back here I can't even hear it over the air conditioner so long story short this um, this project big win huge success oh yeah 